One of the best things about crafting with a friend is being inspired. So I liked Jen's card so much that had the cutouts in it. And I also frankly liked my idea, right? That had the little photo corners turned into houses. And I decided to mash the two ideas together. And what you can see now is a series of cards that I made. Here is a card and it has a little cutout in it. And if you open it up, you'll see there is that little photo corner house. I even made it so the heart shows right through the O there, which is the same idea as Jen's. I took it a little step further with this one and I made the cutout exactly in the shape of a house, kind of a fun idea. And then I got really fancy and I put three in a row. And then of course, you can't ever have scraps. So I made a little card with all the leftover bits that have been cut away. So I wanna show you how to make a house-shaped cutout because I think it's just such a cool idea. So the first thing is I wanna create an image that my electronic cutter can scan. So I've taken my photo corner, I've put it down, I've put the chimney on because I definitely want the chimney part. And then I just ran a black pen around it so it's a nice dark outline. Now I'm gonna pop it into my scanning mat here. And I also was working of course on a bright sheet of white paper so there's a lot of contrast. And now I'm going to load it into the machine just by pressing that load button. And I'm gonna choose the scanning option. I want to scan to cut data, so I'm gonna start, and I'm gonna let the machine take it in and scan it for me. And one little tip I can give you generally to get a nice clean scan is again, you wanna be working with that light colored background and a strongly contrasting line. And of course, this is a template now that you can resize and reuse, and if you look back at the card that I have on the very end on the pattern paper, you'll see that I use that little house cut out as a little embellishment so you could cut it out of any kind of paper you want and then the machine of course is telling me that it's recognizing and it's thinking about it and it's trying to figure out what's happening and I can now be crafting playing around hanging out making other embellishments while well, that is working away now once I see it on the screen I'm going to choose the outline scan and I'm going to simply drag in the red arrow to get a nice tight scan on there I'm going to hit save and I'm going to save it into my machine and then once that that has saved in there, I'm gonna hit OK. I'm gonna press the home button to go back because now I'm ready to cut. So I'm going to unload my mat and I'm gonna trade it for a cutting mat. Now, if you've never used one of these mats, it comes with a protective cover and I'm simply going to pull it off and save my cover because this is sticky. Now here's the fun thing, which is I can now take my card and open it up and a card opens like this and I'm going to place it down on my mat and I can place it anywhere on this mat that I want. For a really good adhesion to the mat, you can just, you know, use your spatula tool to get it on there. Then I am going to load this into the machine and again, I simply press these edges right up against there, press the load button and then I am going to choose the pattern option and you'll recall we have just saved that into the machine so I'm gonna go looking for it in all my saved designs just using the scroll button there it is I see it I know it's just the size that I want it to be but how am I gonna place it on the card I'm gonna hit this scanning option and it's gonna go ahead and scan that right in for me and then I'll be able to drag it exactly where I want cut it out and that is how I managed to line up as you can see here this house design so completely perfectly with the opening and if we look back at the screen you can see that I can see it I can drag it I'm going to cut it and it'll be perfect